Hi everybody, this is Rob and Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby and we're taking a look at the High Tech Zipper P2Go. Now this is the second in the Weekender series that we've reviewed. We did the extra 300 earlier. Uh, yep. Kurt and I are both impressed with that, the way it flew and its appearance. It was a good looking plane, yep. uh, especially for being foam. We counted on that several times. Mm -hmm. uh, the zipper is a little bit smaller, uh, definitely follows in, I guess, more true to the form of a Weekender. True what, to the name, yeah. Exactly. Um, it's a smaller plane. Easy to fit in your vehicle or if you transport anything, uh, it's not hard to carry around. Hand launch? Hand, yep, hand launch. Uh, grass fields are not, an, are not a problem, which is yep. nice. You're not required to be on a hard surface. Um, so, you know, it should prove to be a nice little addition to that line. Mm -hmm. So why don't you give us some specs, Kurt? All right, the high-tech zipper P2Go has a 23.6-inch wingspan. Wing area is 93 square inches. Wing loading is 8.2 ounces per square foot. Overall length is 21.3 inches. All up weight is 5.3 ounces. The motor that's included with the P2Go kit is a 2500 kV brushless outrunner. The prop is a 4x3 two blade. A, the installed ESC is a 10 amp. Required battery is a 400 to 450 milliamp 11.1 .1 volt LiPo. It's also going to need a radio system, a 4 plus channel transmitter and receiver. Uh, you will need a charger, of course, it doesn't include a charger uh, for, your, for your LiPo battery. The price to time this review is $109.99. Now, Two Brothers setup, we chose to go with our Aurora 9X transmitter because it was brand new out of the box. And mm -hmm. We just had to have an excuse to play with it, but you could also go with the Hitech Optic 6 Sport as a much more affordable and effective solution. The receiver we chose was a Minima 6L Lite. And then for flight batteries, we chose Thunder Power's TP480-3S PP25J. Uh, those are 480 milliamp 3S25C discharge 11.1 .1 volt uh, lipos. And we anticipated we were going to go through some batteries uh, on this size. And we've yeah. seen that, you know, EDFs, of course, are, are power hungry. Uh, and then this mini park size, yeah. not park flyer, not exactly. mi ultra micro or micro, this mini size. Yeah. Um, as you had pointed out, you tend to be on a throttle with them. You're, yep. you're kind of on the throttle. So you got to uh, keep them in air over the wings. You keep them rolling, basically, mm -hmm. a lot of yep. times. Yep. I mean, traditionally, you do. Yeah, and that's something that was kind of a bonus with the zipper. Um, our test flying, you'll see in a bit, um, three to five mile an hour winds that day, and we really were able to catch that wind, and, and it was extremely floaty. Well, so the floatage goes. factor was. <laughs> Floatage. The factor. more the more you float, the lower you know the lower the throttle. That's and, a new term. But of course, you want to zip. Well, well, yeah. Super, not to be cheesy with the name, but you want to cruise. You know, you want to be sport flying it, especially with sure. an aileron elevator plane. You want to be, bang, you know, you're banking through those turns. Yep. You can't really level them out or flatten them out at all. Yeah. So you just you find yourself flying more and more aggressive, even even when you want to pull back a little bit and say, oh, I'm just going to play around. You're like, I'm bored. You just you just throw the coals to it and start doing yeah. loops and rolls and everything else. So, cool. um, flying habit tends to chew through the battery either way. So we picked up two. Highly recommend uh, getting a couple for yourself as well to start off. Um, yeah. So you aren't sitting there waiting for a battery charge. Rob, out of the box, um, we did an assembly video on this, so mm -hmm. we go into full detail. But yeah. For those who don't want to sit through the full assembly, what can you expect? Uh, it's it's a very, very uh, non-intimidating kit when you open the box because there aren't a lot of pieces to it. Mm -hmm. uh, you basically have your hatch, the cockpit area, which would be loot that comes off. But the main pieces are you have uh, the fuselage, the horizontal stabilizer, and your wing. Um, you get two spinners in the box. Motor is already installed. You've got your ESC installed, and you've got your elevator rudder plus your aileron elevator servo. What did I say? <laughs> elevator <laughs> rudder. Yeah, It'd good. be nice for that rudder, but it yeah, have it's one. A, well, it's a combination, it's but combination. it's not elevon. So it's, yeah, it's uh, not an elevator or uh, rudder 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 rudder. It's not a rudder. Anyhow, rudder. you have your elevator servo installed and your two aileron and servos installed. Um, the one thing that you will have to do if you want to, you don't have to, but mm -hmm. uh, we chose to do it was to paint it because it does come out of the box. Solid white. Yeah, and you can have this thing slapped together in 10 minutes. Yes, not this even 10 not, minutes to be flying it. This wouldn't be a hard kit. As you'd mentioned, and you do more of the, you do the scratch building, you do the kit, you do all the building, the true modeling yeah. side of it. And you, you know as well as anyone, it doesn't matter if the plane's this big or if it's, you know, 50 inch wingspan. No, if, if you're painting it, you're going to go through all the same steps yeah. and all the same process. And it's Anytime take you've time. got to lay masking tape to it, it takes time. It just takes yeah. time to lay it out and do a nice job. And with foam, it, the sad part is no matter how well you do, you always end up finding some spots that you just sit there and scratch your head and it's like, well. And you're pretty much finished that. Point. Well, you, you are can't finished. can't really do anything. You any, can't. Any chemicals that would soften the paint or light to take yeah. it off is going to eat through the foam. Exactly. But one exactly. thing we did do is um, it, the kit comes with very basic stickers. They have the Weekender sticker that's on the vertical and then also the zipper sticker and then the larger Weekender sticker. Yeah. Um, we wanted to make it look as much kind of the styling that was taken, that was kind of portrayed 
straight on the box. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we cut in some, some curves and angles. But uh, the big thing you can't tape and really mask off and do realistically is the checker, no. the checker uh, board pattern. So I went ahead and created this graphic, and uh, you can download that, that uh, PDF from our website on the review page. I think high techs. I sent it over to high tech as well. I think they're going to put it up as, as well for a resource in the zipper. I'm not sure, but you can definitely get it at our site, and that just really saves you a lot of time. Um, it gives you a little bit of a border, so if you <laughs> if you kind of get ugly on your seam of your red yeah. to your white, you know, no. there, there's a nice thick border to cover it up with the sticker, so it looks like a clean transition. Hmm. I also created painting masks, so you can do these tips. So all you have to do is print out the painting mask on some label paper, some full sheet label paper cut it around the dotted area, and um, then you have some ready-to-go paint masks. So yeah. it kind of, it, I'll put it this way, it'll take, it would take someone new doing it a lot less time than it did me because I was creating the masks and the templates oh, sure. while I was doing it so other yeah. people could, but um, it, it would be much easier just to slap the paint masks on, shoot it, and then print these out and stick them on. So. And I know you have that, you probably have it on the other video, but uh, I don't remember now, but what paint did you use on that? Oh, I used um, American Accents. Mm -hmm. um, it, the coverage is incredible. Oh, it's fantastic. It. The color, yeah. fastness, everything is great. And we've found out on foam, we did it on a couple other planes, um, it, it actually holds up pretty well. It does, For yeah. as fast as it dries. And I mean, it's a matter of, what, five minutes? Yeah. You can touch it. If you let, you let it cure for a good 24 to 48 hours sure. before you take it out and want to and start hitting the ground with it. But um, after 48 hours of really just sitting, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that it's no longer tacky at all feeling. Yeah. It's very smooth and dry yep. feeling. And then you know it's ready to go. But yeah. Well, let's move on to the, let's they're move offering on to... a lot of colors too. Oh, they are. When a I lot first did that yep. that first plane, we had about four or five colors, but I've I noticed they about, really expanded. I was thinking it. about you know, when you're on or painting at chartreuse or something, but <laughs> I decided to go with the black oh. and white. And I would prefer red. fuchsia, but <laughs> let's get to the fun part. The let's flying. do it. We'll take a look at the flight footage. Make sure you come back for part two for the review scoring. <laughs> 